we're now going to rationalize nth roots. And I want to do this separately, primarily because it's got a little bit different focus to it. So let's start with 1 over the cube root of 6. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the prime factorization of the radical on the bottom, which is the 6. And so the 6 is 2 to the first times 3 to the first. So I have 1, 2 underneath the cube root, and I have 1, 3 underneath the cube root. Well, in order to get rid of the 2 and the 3, we need to make sure that we correctly multiply by what we need so that it's there's enough to come out of the radical. So I'm going to call this the multiplying factor. Factorization. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of my prime factors, the 2 and the 3, and then I'm going to say, what power do I need? How many more 2's do I need to have 3 total? And since I have 1 here, that means I'm going to need 2 more 2's. So that 2 to the first times 2 squared is 2 cubed, and the cube root of 2 cubed is 2. Do the same thing with the 3. So 3 to the first times 3 squared. This then becomes 2 squared times 3 squared is 4 times 9, which is 36. So we're going to multiply by the cube root of 36 over the cube root of 36. This gives me the cube root of 36 over the cube root of 218. But 218 is 2 cubed times 3 cubed. And I know that because it's this times this. And so that means I'm going to get a single, single, single copy out of the 2 and the 3 so that I get the cube root of 36 over 2 times 3, which is the cube root of 36 over 6. And that's my answer. And I've gotten, I've rationalized the radical out of the denominator. Well, let's look at this from a little bit more complicated standpoint. What if I have 5 over 18 underneath the cube root. Well, my prime factorization, which I'm going to abbreviate PF, of the denominator, 18, is 2 to the first times 3 squared. That means my multiplying factor is going to need 2 more 2's, so that it adds to 3, and only 1 more 3, because I already have 2, so I only need 1 more to get to the 3. So then we multiply this through, or we figure out what we multiply by. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. So we multiply by the cube root of 12 over the cube root of 12. So the cube root of 5 times the cube root of 12 is the cube root of 60. And the cube root of 18 times the cube root of 12 is the cube root of 218, which we already know is of 216, excuse me. I think I made a mistake earlier. It should be 216. There as well. Okay, so the cube root of 216, this becomes the cube root of 60 over 6. And again, we're done, because the cube root of 60 doesn't simplify. It has two 2's, one 3, and one 5. So nothing comes out, and there's nothing else on top to simplify with, so we get our answer. Now, let's look at a fourth root example. Suppose we have 6 over the fourth root of 4z cubed. So let's even throw a variable in there. And the nice thing when you're rationalizing is that variables are really easy because we already know how many we have. So for our prime factorization, 4z cubed is 2 squared times z cubed. That means for our answer, for our multiplying factor, we need 2's and z's. We need two more 2's so that it adds to 4 because it's a fourth root. And we need one more z because we already have 3 and that adds up to the 4. So we're going to multiply by the fourth root of 4z over the fourth root of 4z. This gives us six fourth roots of 4z on top and 2z on bottom. We only need a single 2 because we only came up with four 2s. We then need to reduce our fraction. And so our final answer is 3 fourth root of 4z over z. And we have completely simplified our radical at this point.